Throughout all of India, we've talked about many different places and many different cities within the country, learning about the greatness of its people and the differences that certain places have to offer. But today here on FTD Facts, we are finally peering into the city and the world known as Bengaluru. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we talk about people, cultures, and places from all around the world. And yes, today we're finally talking about Bengaluru, or as it used to be called, Bangalore. I'll get to that shortly of why it's got the name change. But either way, guys, if you guys love learning about different cities, peoples, and places from all around the world, well, you want to hit that subscribe button because that's what we do here. And also to keep in mind, we take a lot of recommendations from you guys, and this is actually a video that has been extremely requested. A lot of people have said, hey, yo, you got to talk about this city and I don't know why we've kind of missed it I mean we've been talking about many different places around the world that we have missed this one and so now finally we're gonna look at it now before I get into this I also want to know what is your favorite city and why let me know down there in the comments section below now, let's start talking about Bengaluru. Now, as I mentioned, it's also called Bangalore, as it is also still considered one of its nicknames. Now, the reason it's now called Bengaluru is, well, it was called that in history, and it was once known as a place where a battle was fought in 1890. And also, during the Genja Dynasty, it was known as Bengalval Uru, which means the City of the Guards. And although it was known as Bangalore, especially during the British Raj, by 2014, it was referred to and officially changed to Bangalore. Now keep in mind guys, I may call it Bangalore, I may call it Bangalore throughout this video, so don't be all like, eh, that's pretty much the reason why, because I just keep on get confused from time to time. Now of course, back in the day of it being called Bengalvaluru, it was founded in 1573. Now currently, it has a mega city population of 12,339,447 people, and that makes it the third largest city in the world. It's got a lot of people. And to give you an idea of how many people there are, there's approximately 17,000 people per square kilometer. Now, Bengaluru is known as the capital of Karnataka, and it has a land size of 709 kilometers square. Now, we've gone over the basics, but let's get into some interesting features about the city. First of all, let's talk about the tallest building within Bengaluru. Now, of course, the city may not have an impressive skyline like other cities within the country, but it is known for its IT buildings, and it's pretty much considered IT capital of India. And as for its buildings, the tallest one at the time of this video is the Matri Pinnacle, which stands 46 stories high, being 153 meters tall, and was completed in 2013. Now, when I was talking about the population of Bangalore, if you've ever been there, you'll notice that the traffic is really bad. As a matter of fact, Bangalore is considered to have the worst traffic in all of India. And in 2017, they did a study finding out that the amount of vehicle registrations had been up 6,099% from 40 years ago, with an estimation of 6.7 million cars or 67.22 lakhs. Now, when I talk about Bengaluru and I talk about its previous name, Bangalore, you might have heard of that name before, especially when watching a movie like Saving Private Ryan. This is because during the First World War, a specific piece of explosive equipment called the Bangalore Torpedo was invented within the city and is currently still in use today. Now, this specific pipe was rigged with explosives meant to clear away obstacles during the war. And although it was invented by a man named Captain R.L. McClintock, the city can claim that it was developed within its walls in 1912. Now, speaking of military, we should also talk about how Bangalore has one of the oldest military regiments in all of India. These troopers are known as the Madras Engineering Group, and they also helped invent the Bangalore Torpedo. And this old military regiment in India has been around since 1770s and its garrison is located within the city walls. Now one thing you may not know is that Bengaluru is known as pub capital of India. Sounds like my kind of place, the place where you can get a lot of tasty drinks. Alcoholic ones that is. And one of the reasons for this is because it has a booming nightlife stating that it has over 800 pubs within the city. And lastly, when I talked to you guys earlier about it being known as IT Central of India, well, it's also considered Silicon Valley of India as well. This is because the city has so many IT companies, and as a matter of fact, in the United States, people refer to their jobs being outsourced to India as being Bangalore. 
And one of the major reasons that has so many IT buildings is because it has 57 engineering universities. And most of these colleges are under the Bengaluru University, making the city have the highest amount of universities in the entire world. So there you have it guys, that is our video on Bengaluru, or Bangalore as it's previously called. And of course, if we missed any facts and you guys know some, be sure to put them down there in the comment section below, because we always love hearing from you and we always love learning from you, and who knows, we may get a part two. And speaking of which, if this video gets a lot of likes guys, I will do a part two on Bengaluru because I'm looking forward to doing it as well. But other than that guys, my name is Dave Wobble and I hope you guys had a great time learning. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course leave a comment for a future FTD Facts video. And until then guys, we'll see you in the next one. Cool? Bye bye! All right, so you guys made it to the end of an FTD Facts video. Well, guess what, guys? We got some other cool stuff for you guys to check out. Like I said, we've been talking a lot about different places within India and talking about the country as a whole. So feel free to check any one of these videos out because I highly recommend that you do so because you'll just learn a lot. And until then, guys, you have a fantastic one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!